Hi guys, Christian here. In today's video, I'm gonna go through the Cardano roadmap. What's ahead in 2022? Cardano, as you know, is one of my highest conviction layer one blockchains, especially in 2022, when now that we've got smart contracts live, they're gonna start scaling here with Basha. We're gonna to go to Voltaire, which is basically to get their governments completely decentralized. This is gonna be an amazing project. Let's dive right into the big talk of the town, which is Sunday Swap, and we'll go into all of their ideas through Occam Finance, Vent Finance, and also some card starter projects, along with some other things that are a little bit smaller, but are on my roadmap and are going to be huge accomplishments in 2022. So let's dive right in. Obviously, the talk of the town is Sunday Swap, and rightly so. I'm going to, as a special added bonus at the end of this video, add a liquidity token to their pool so I can start earning some Sunday tokens myself. There obviously was a lot of congestion on the network as this just opened up last week. You said there wouldn't be traffic. This is traffic. And there are a lot of issues that still need to get worked out. I'm sure that you've seen them all on YouTube as well, but I wanna show you guys step-by-step step how to add liquidity to the Sunday Swap AMM decks, and you'll be able to start earning some Sunday rewards as well. These are completely free to you. They are a token that's gonna get airdropped based on the fact that you're helping them with the liquidity that they need in their decentralized exchange so they can complete swaps. There are three liquidity pools that you can add LP tokens to and start earning some Sunday Sunday rewards. They are the ADA Sunday pair. There's also to the World Mobile token ADA pair. And the third one is going to be the Liquid Finance ADA pair. I'm going to go ahead and add some ADA Sunday at the end of this, and then I'll show you exactly how to do that as well. So you can start earning some Sunday tokens. Also, if you want to start earning some Sunday rewards, you can participate in their initial stake pool offering. There are currently about 80 or so stake pools out there that are going to be offering the Sunday tokens as rewards for staking your ADA with them for the next five epics. That's a total of 25 days. And at the end of that, you'll get dropped Sunday tokens and you'll be able to use those however you'd like. So why not participate, right? I've currently got one of my Uroi wallets delegated to the nerd stake pool. It was one of the few that I found that wasn't completely saturated. Under Understand that if the stake pool is over about 67 million ADA right now, that is complete saturation. You're not going to earn as high of rewards as you would from another stake pool that has a little bit less than that. You can get a list of all the stake pool operators and what's currently available on their website. You can see exactly which one you want to stake to. And if you've got any other questions about Sunday Swap, they've got an amazing medium page with all of their articles. So feel free to dive right into those. Remember that Sunday Swap wasn't the first Dex on Cardano, it was Muesli Swap. What? Muesli Swap is an order book as opposed to Sunday Swap, which is an automated market maker. The difference between the two is an order book basically matches buyers and sellers, and then a transaction takes place based on price, whereas an automated market maker gets liquidity pools. So you get two tokens that are delegated to you, and then if you wanna swap from ADA to Sunday, the whoever's providing liquidity in that pool will make that swap happen and will in turn earn a fee from that. So the people who are participating in that DEX and providing that liquidity are gonna also to earn from it as well. I love that option much better than the order book. Empower is one of my favorite projects and they're launching their IDO here this week. It is so cool to be able to marry the fact that they are gonna be building four million homes for African families with blockchain web 3.0 technology. I absolutely love this project, guys. I think you should take a look at it in more detail. There's tons of information on their website. You can also, too, participate in their initial stake pool offering and earn some EMP tokens from that. But their mission is absolutely incredible. They are a great, great project. I'm happy to provide them some capital so that they can go out there and hopefully be able to realize this mission of providing families that are underprivileged or that don't have shelter the ability to have a roof over their heads. It's something we should all strive for in this world and I'm happy to hopefully do my part and make that happen. Another one of my favorite projects is World Mobile Token. I'm sure you've seen this, but if you haven't, they are an amazing project. They had their IDO back in October of last year and Mickey Watkins, their CEO, has AMAs that are ongoing. He's an amazing person. He just comes from a background when it comes to telecommunications. They're 
motto is Stronger Together, and they have just an amazing vision here. They've started off in Zanzibar by providing 100,000 people with communication to the internet based on these world mobile towers that they've created. It's a really cool project. In fact, the WMT token, the world mobile token that's being used in order to power these mobile communications are also too gonna be offered on nodes, earth nodes. And I'm actually gonna be a pioneer in the earth node process as well. Those are currently tokens that are getting staked, but at some point we'll provide a completely decentralized framework for mobile technology. Love World Mobile and what they're doing. If you're not a part of the Occam Finance community, definitely think about getting some OCC tokens. They are one of the major launch pads on Cardano and they launch a ton of really, really incredible projects. I participated in a handful of them, including one of my favorites, Cornucopius. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you haven't seen that project awesome metaverse being built on Cardano. It is so, so cool. But Occam Finance has a ton of things that are on their roadmap right now. There's gonna be a lot of these initial DeFi offerings that are gonna be coming up. You can basically provide capital to these projects like you would in an initial public offering when it comes to the stock market. So when we are looking at the Occam Finance Razor, you'll be able to see exactly what projects are on the horizon when it comes to Cardano. Inside the Occam Razor dashboard, you can see what's going on. You have to stake your Occam tokens in here, and then you'll be able to participate in their initial DeFi offerings. There are several that are coming up, Arena being one of the main ones, and it's going to be a huge project that's coming up here February 15th. So if you're interested, make sure that you take a look at my previous video on how to participate in Occam Finance DeFi offerings. There's also Niza, Choice and Coliseum, several projects that are gonna be on their roadmap here and are gonna be really cool Cardano projects that are coming up in the near future. Vent Finance is another launch pad on Cardano and Polygon. So it's got basically two layer one networks that it works with. Vent has launched some really cool projects as well on Cardano like Meld and Cornucopius. They have several on their roadmap that are coming up here in the near future and I'll take you through a couple of them right now. On the Vent dashboard, you can see their hot projects are Animal Concerts, New New Spirits, Chain Port, and they have Ada Finance, which is gonna be another one of those really cool decentralized exchanges that's gonna be coming up on Cardano here in the near future. Let's jump into Ada Finance and you can see a little bit about them, what's going on, and how you can participate in one of these DeFi offerings. Here's a little bit about how the Ada Finance IDO is going to happen. They're gonna raise about $200,000 in USDC. The number of participants that are going to be participating is about a thousand or so, and you can, you can purchase up to 2,500 tokens. It is a public sale, so anyone can participate as long as you've completed your KYC. Know that every single one of these launch pads is a little bit different, how they work, what kind of KYC you need to provide, how you stake their tokens. And if you have any questions about that, I provide a ton of great content and other videos that you can refer to. Card Starter is another IDO launch pad on Cardano. And right now it's currently only on Ethereum base, but they are gonna be transitioning to Cardano here, hopefully within the next month or so. They do launch a lot of projects and have done some really cool ones in the past, like Charlie 3 and other things that are very Cardano based. So as far as upcoming projects, you can see that they've got the Carbon Phi, which has happened. It just completed and they don't have anything on their upcoming IDOs right now, but they do have a ton of completed projects and there should be some more that hopefully come up here in the near future. You can tell that Cardano is really starting to build themselves out. A lot of these projects launched on ERC, the Ethereum network or on Binance, and they're gonna all be migrating over to the Cardano network here. There's just so much that's going on right now. It's hard to keep track of all the different projects and all of the different IDOs that are happening. If you've got questions about anything DeFi, please feel free to take a look at my YouTube channel. It's got a ton of great content out there for everything that you could want, Web 3.0, and I'm happy to provide more. Just leave a comment down below on what you'd like to see next, and I'm happy to create content based on what you like. Alrighty, time for the Sunday Swap liquidity pool provision. If you haven't already though, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Also to hit that subscribe and that bell notification. That way you'll be notified whenever I create other videos just like this one. Let's get our wallet connected and dive into Sunday Swap. Maximum more. Punch it. Awesome, I am connected to the Sunday Swap site. My NAMI wallet is connected here and I'm gonna go into the swap functionality. 
I'm going to come down. Oh, you can see right here, guys. Important notice. The network is extremely congested at the moment. Swaps may fail or not go through until congestion decreases. Please be patient. I've known that that's going to happen for a while now. Holy oh my God, I can't God. believe it. <laughs> and I've been holding off. It's now about a week after the Sunday Swap Live debut and I know that there was a lot of problems with it. So I want to be able to provide liquidity. I want to be able to obviously earn some Sunday swap tokens from it. And I'm excited about this, but I do want to be patient. It may not go through. Let's find out. Alrighty guys, I'm going to go ahead and swap ADA for Sunday tokens. I've got 401, that's the balance of my wallet right now, so I'm gonna do a 50-50 swap. I'm gonna take 200 ADA, I'm gonna swap them for 251 Sunday tokens. You can see my slippage price impact is very small right now, so there's not gonna be a whole lot of slippage on that. I have a tolerance of 3%. I don't wanna keep that at 3%. If you don't know what slippage is, there are some great information out there about how to get the best transaction you possibly can. Um, I know that the slippage though may be different because I know there's congestion on the network right now and I don't want it, the transaction to fail. So actually I think I will keep it at 3% just for the simple fact that I want this to go through. But you can see that you can change that slippage amount which is the amount that you're trading. So if there's a larger slippage amount that means that you may get less tokens at the end of the day because the price fluctuates a little bit. We'll keep the slippage at 3% just to see if we can get our transaction to go through. Gonna go ahead and hit the swap right now. Here's all the details about it, the effective price, the fees, the liquidity provider fee, the deposit, slippage tolerance, the estimated tokens I will receive, and the minimum tokens I'll receive. So you can see there's quite a bit of difference there. The minimum being 243 and the estimated being 251. So eight tokens is a pretty big deal. That's about seven, looks like seven or eight dollars or so. We'll see what happens when we hit this order. All right, it's gonna bring me back out to my NAMI wallet. I'm gonna to have to sign for that and allow the exchange to go through. Five minutes later. And boom, there we go. Ordering the swap for 200 ADA for Sunday. The transaction is queued right now. We'll see exactly how long this takes. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to when it completes. That way you guys don't have to wait and we'll see exactly what the timing looks like and how long it takes for this transaction to go through. One eternity later. Still processing. Well, it's been over 12 hours and we are still waiting on that scoop. Hopefully it happens sometime soon, but I'm gonna jump right into a couple more Cardano projects that are really exciting. And I know that at the end here, hopefully we'll have this scoop completed. Fingers crossed. So MinSwap just launched on the testnet. You can actually start testing the MinSwap protocol and also to earn yourself some Min tokens. They're gonna to be airdropped to people that test their application on the testnet. You just have to be a part of their Discord server and then you'll get airdropped these tokens directly into your wallet once they're on the main net. So this is an opportunity for you guys to go out there, get some MinSwap tokens, test out their application, see if you like it or not. Why not give it a chance? The countdown is on. ADAX Pro is going to be launching here in two days, 20 hours and 36 minutes. This is a really cool decentralized exchange. It's also too got some order book functionality in it as well. ADAX is incorporating not only the decentralized exchange aspect of it, but some centralized features as well, including their order book, which allows you to basically trade tokens based on the fact that you have buyers and sellers that are both looking to trade a certain token on their exchange. You've got the tools here that allow you to also to do some analysis, some technical analysis like you would with any type of asset or different token that's out there. This is a really cool protocol and you can start using it here on the main net in just a little over two days. Lastly guys, a little fun project called Cardano Castle. It's going to be a play to earn NFT project. Very small but launching here and it's really kind of cool. I think if you want to go take a look at it, maybe you can get yourself airdropped a Cardano Castle NFT and be able to participate in this project, but it might have some really cool upside and why not, right? It's a play to earn game. <laughs> I am super bullish on the Cardano ecosystem. I know that there are going to be a couple of little stumbling blocks here along the way. As I mentioned in my last video on Sunday Swap, it is going to take some time for them to start to scale and to be able to process the amount of transactions that are going to come through on the blockchain. But as they do and as they get more and more 
scalability and the governance starts to come into place as well, I think that Cardano is going to have a amazing future. If you haven't already, guys, make sure that you've subscribed and hit that bell notification because at some point, my order is going to process. Then I'm going to come out to the liquidity pool and I'm going to provide liquidity for the Sunday ADA pair. That's going to start earning me my rewards. I hope that you guys are taking advantage of this as well. Obviously, there's going to be this network congestion, but at some point, I hope this plays itself out and we all start earning our Sunday swap rewards. Until next time, guys, I'll see you on the next video.